we're going to talk about for loops. Um, so a for loop helps you do something many times. So let's see how that works. Um, let's say yeah, your teacher gives you a homework. She says you have to add up all the numbers between one and a million. And you could do that by hand, or you could write a program to do it for you. So how would you do that? You would say int sum is zero, right? And then you could write a for loop. Now a for loop is different from the while loop. Uh, a for loop looks like this. And first you say int i is zero, i less than one million, and i plus plus. Right, so what this is saying is I'm going to start with i equal to zero, then as long as i is less than one million, I'm going to do whatever is in here. Right, and then at the end, I'm going to come back up here and then I'm going to do this third thing, which is i plus plus. This i plus plus, if you recall, i plus plus. Uh, is the same as saying i gets i plus one, right? Okay, so let's look at this. So if I did that, I can do that now. How do I change this so it adds up the numbers between one million? First of all, we want to start with the number one, and uh, we want to go all the way to a million, and we want to add each number. So let's just start with an easy one. Let's just print out i, just to make sure this works. So we got this, I'm gonna run this program. Boom, there you go. See, it's printing all the numbers from one to a million, uh, which is gonna take a while. So, no, there it is. So, you see, it didn't actually print a million, right? It only went up to mm -hmm. 999,999. So what was the problem? Um, yeah. The problem is right here because it says only go as long as i is less than a million. So when, when i became a million, a million is not less than a million, right? A million equals a million. So what we want to do is we want to change this so it's less than or equal to a million. And then we can run it again to make sure it works. And now it should stop at a million because i is equal to a million right there. Okay, so now it's printing all the numbers, but that's not really what I want. What I wanted was to add all the numbers between one and a million. So how do I do that? Print in plus i? Well, you see I have the sum here, variable, this other variable sum. Mm -hmm. So what I want to do is... Um, Let's go over here. I want to say sum, the old sum, is the new sum equals the old sum plus i. So now what's going to happen is each time through the loop, it's going to say the sum is the old sum plus i. So the first time i is 1, so it's going to be 0 plus 1 goes into sum. Next time through, i is going to be 2, right? Mm -hmm. So it's going to be the old sum plus 2. Now three. And then next time i is going to be three, so it's going to be the old sum plus three, and then the old sum plus four, plus five, plus six, and uh, so that's how we add the sum. And the sum should hold at the end the sum of all the numbers between one and a million, right? And then at the end, of course, we want to print it out, and we don't want to print out all these numbers just four anymore. So I'm just going to comment that out and run this and see what happens. And there you go, it works. The sum between one, for all the numbers between one and a million is that number. So you see you're done with your homework, right? Mm-hmm. Okay, what if I, the teacher instead said, I want you to add all the even numbers between one and a million? Yeah. How would you change this program to do that? You'd put the sum equals even plus i? Uh, very good. Um, but that doesn't actually work. 
uh, what we want to do is here we're saying at each time to the loop we're at, we're starting with one and then we're adding one to it so it's gonna go one two three four five and we do seven. two yeah so we want to start it with two and then after two four six. one three so that means we have to add two plus two two plus two plus two so we don't want to add one we want to add two mm. at each step. So now that is i equals, this is the same as i equals i plus two. Oh, get rid of that. Okay, now we're gonna run that. And that is the sum of all the even numbers between one and a million. Yeah. Okay. Uh, now, what if the teacher had said, okay, add up all the numbers between one and a million, but only, only those, only the numbers that are divisible by three or divisible by five. So that means add, you know, three, five, six, ten, twelve, Etc. Um, so divisible by three, four, five. Okay. So divisible by three. What does that mean? That means that in the computer we have that the modulo operator. Uh, so we can say I modulo three. That's also the remainder. So I, that percent and sign, that is the same as uh, the mod sign or also known as the remainder. So we can have this if statement. We can say if I mod three is zero. So this means I is a multiple of three. The Five and six. Right. So uh, if it's a multiple of three, then we want to add it to the sum. We want the sum to be the sum plus i. So that's going to add the numbers between one and a million, but only those that are multiples of three. So we have an if statement within the for loop. We can run that, and that is the result. Now, that's just three. If you wanted to say all the numbers are multiples of three or multiples of five. And six. We do it like that. I can run that. And that's the result. You see? Okay. And the nice thing is that, you know, if your teacher changes her mind, she becomes really mean and she says, well, do it again, but not just up to a million, go up to 10 million. You can do that, mm -hmm. right? The computer's really fast, so you can do that. Or we got to a, a hundred million, we can do that. At some point, well, at uh, this point, we actually run out of space. The integer uh, only holds so many digits, so we've gone up shows up negative because we ran out of space. Uh, so we can, at that point, you have to start using either a big integer or a double or some other type um, to do that. Quickly here, do a double and then run it uh, and it'll give you the number. Of course, since we're using a double now, you might not get all the precision you want. And that's it.